I'm Avraham Popko, and as part of the Go To a Book Club, we are going to discuss today the book Domain Storytelling. Stories are one of the most useful tools that we have in order to create this shared uh, model of understanding. Rather than ask you to explain to me what domain storytelling is, Henning, could you show me? Yeah, awesome. That would be perfect. Then I would like to give a little demo. And if you like to meet my domain expert, then I'm going to interview you and hear a little story from you and then model that. The year is 2021. The world is just coming out of a pandemic and uh, theaters are starting to uh, once again open and sell tickets, albeit under certain constraints. Uh, so the theater that asked me to provide a technical solution to them uh, asked me to address the following uh, requirements. Domain storytelling is not just an oral activity, it's also a modeling activity. And models have a purpose. They are determined by the purpose. Does domain storytelling capture some of that uh, experience, capture some of that drama, capture some of that uh, togetherness that a real story tell might, uh, might capture? So especially in complicated cases, we often ask people to tell real stories from the past that actually happened to them, which we then capture in the, in the visual model. In the situation that we're using domain storytelling, we're not, usually not in the role of adults who already know what the main flow, the happy path is, but we're like children coming new into the world and we want to know what is happening. So the idea is really, really to bring together the people um, that, for example, if you develop software, well, please, in your, in your storytelling workshops, include the people who will actually develop the software, at least some of them. Tossing over an artifact is not enough. Do you find that people find it easier to express themselves in story form than they do in requirement? We call it domain storytelling for a reason. We didn't call it domain story writing or domain story reading. I really like your metaphor, so domain stories are not novels. <laughs> They, they can be used as plays sometimes, yeah, but first of all, there are stories that are told. There are things that are easier to imagine in story form that are still rooted in reality and not complete fairy tales, um, but that help you to overcome certain challenges. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.